What's going on everybody, welcome back. Now typically the quicker you can get jobs done, usually the better off you are. Only a couple circumstances in life where finishing fast isn't really a good thing. So typically loading ammo sucks. Even if you get your 5.56 on stripper clips and you put them in your old school uh, aluminum mags and jam them down on the table, get those rounds in there. Or you know some of the other loaders that have come out over time, I've tried several. They just never really did much for me. Now, I've kind of been hesitant to really try any other different uh, speed loaders or anything like that over the years because I just didn't find the cost benefit ratio there for me. I don't have little uh, delicate fingers and I load my ammo by hand most times. And that was uh, kind of until several months back, um, late 2018, um, I started paying a little bit more attention to some of the speed loaders that were out on the market that were new, especially from ETS Group. And I bought one because it was pretty dang affordable for what it was. And a buddy of mine had one and said, hey, no, this thing is actually really good. So I gave it a shot and it pretty much resides, at least the one that's open, because I bought two and the other one's still in the package because this thing has lasted several months. But it stays in my, uh, in my kit here that I take with me. And I bought the rifle and the uh, pistol versions. So they are a little bit different guys, but they work under the same principle. So here's the pistol and here's the rifle. Basically you get your mag in there and then you use this to jam it down and uh, as your rounds are kind of in here. And we're gonna get up close and I'm gonna show you exactly how these, get, these work. And I'm gonna kind of show you a little trick with the rifle one. If you don't get those like kind of pre-staged rounds that are already in like foam or plastic or you don't reload and put them in there. So if you get loose ammo in the box, like a lot of them come, there is a little bit of a hack you can use this rifle loader still with. But what got me was the actual quality of these things for the price. So, and the speed of them. I mean, it's so easy. Like when I'll show up close guys, you just kind of scoop up the rounds like that. I do two rows at a time, so about 10 rounds. You hold on to this thing and you just jam them down in there. Now, my main concern was polymer part, um, how long is it gonna last? I have had this since late 2018 sometime, I don't remember the exact month. When we're out at the range, I'm out there with my friends, everyone is using this. Um, and it's kind of funny because they're like, oh God, I should have got this thing years ago. So it gets a lot of use and abuse. The only thing I've ever had to do was put one drop of oil in the rail right here on both of them and then clean it out with a Q-tip so you don't have debris building up in there over time. So I wanna get into these things up close and show you guys kinda of how these work. If you're interested in any of this stuff, guys, I will leave links down below for you. But if you're on YouTube, YouTube hates links, but only for 2A type people. So check that first link in the description and it's gonna take you to a page where all that stuff is listed and you can check these out if you are interested. But I wanna show you these guys up close and show you how they work. So we're gonna go ahead and get into these things right now. All right, everybody, so if you've been in the shooting game for any amount of time, we all know that everyone has tried to invent a speed loader, some of which work pretty good and some of which don't really do much for you. So ETS came out with these quite some time ago, and I've waited a while to review these because I really wanted to see the lifespan of these and if they were going to degrade over time on me. So the pistol one here, we're going to start with this, and I've had this specific one for about a year now. I bought this before SHOT Show last year, a couple months before been using it nonstop, got a chance to talk to the ETS guys at SHOT Show. And uh, this thing uh, really kind of surprised me. So a lot of the speed loaders out there don't really do much for you besides maybe save your thumbs a little bit. But this one's pretty cool. So this is for 9 and 40. You can see it is directionally marked. So you get your magazine in there, obviously uh, bullet and forward. Locks into place just like that. And then you scoop up your rounds and you just press them down. So I have found the best thing to do is you got to keep pressure on the mag you know, these two tabs right here. Then you can kind of pull down like this, get you guys a good view of that. So pressure on this, and then you push them down in there. So very, very simple. This, uh, you know, the things I was looking for in here was to see how long those rails in there are going to stand the test of time, because that's where the rounds go. But uh, I found it actually worked very well. The only thing I've ever had to do is just put one drop of oil on a Q-tip and kind of clean that out every once in a while to keep those rounds flowing smooth. Let's go ahead and give you guys a quick view of these. And then we're gonna move on to the rifle one because it is quite a bit different. We'll go ahead and get rid of that box. So get your magazine in there, it is directional. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead, scoop these rounds up just like that. And I've done two rows at a time on these, kind of just depends. 
grab the other end of it, it only goes on one way. And then I hold it here with my fingers, putting up pressure on the mag. And then I grab with my thumb here and just jam them in there. So it does get a little bit tighter, the uh, more loaded the magazine is. And I did find that it works quite a bit easier with the Glock factory mags and the ETS mags as compared to say the Magpul mags seem to be a little bit tight in there. So definitely a great piece. This thing is worth its weight in gold to me. I have loaded thousands and thousands of rounds with this at this point and it has not failed me yet. Little uh, weird sometimes on the uh, P mags, but every other mag seems to load absolutely great in it. And uh, I have, I bought two of these cause I figured I was gonna break one. This one has lasted the test of time and the other one is still in the packaging. So let's talk about our rifle loader here cause it is a little bit of a different experience as compared to the pistol loader. And that mostly uh, has to do with how your ammo comes packaged. So if your ammo comes packaged kind of loose like this in the box, a little bit more difficult with this loader, unless you want to manually load each and every single cartridge in there like this, and then go ahead and press them down into the magazine. So overall, this loader, definitely not as secure as the pistol one. The magazines don't exactly lock in there in any way. There's just a groove right there that shows you how to line it up. And then you definitely have to hold it in there. There is a little bit of pressure on there, but just not enough to hold on like the pistol one does. So you definitely have to hold this on here very firmly while you are pressing straight down like that as well. So if your ammunition comes in those little foam or plastic um, staging trays, you can go ahead and just scoop up the rounds as normal and press them down in there. But for a lot of people that buy bulk ammunition, it's going to come like this box of PMC bronze where it's just loose in there. It's not in any kind of tray or anything. So that kind of changes the process just a little bit, but there is a way to still very quickly load these because these are speed loaders and if you're not getting speed out of them and all you're looking for is to save your thumbs, you know, AR mags aren't really the most difficult things to load. You just jam the rounds down in there. It's pretty quick, but this can speed you up quite a bit. And I'm going to show you how to do that. What I like to do is go ahead and get your mag staged in here like this. I open that box up and I leave that folded edge down like that. And then I kind of put this on the desk or whatever up against my AR mag. You can see right here. And I just let those rounds come out, you know, just a little bit, about a quarter of the way. So what I'm going to do now is basically put down pressure and just sweep by those rounds and go ahead and pick them up. And, uh, for the most part, you can generally get the entire row in there. You may have to adjust a round or two up or down depending on the angle of them. But for the most part, you can pick them up like that. You may drop one or two, but the vast majority of those are going to be in there like such. And then you just run them down in there. Now, as far as the next row of rounds that are in there, it's a little bit more difficult because they're, you know, kind of just loose in the box but you can still do it. Just stage them out a little bit the same way, about like that. And then you're just gonna run this by there again, holding the box. Just don't put it downward angle cause you'll drop your rounds all over the table. But you can kind of see, you'll get able to pick up most of them just like that. They're in the loading uh, ramp there and just go ahead, press them down and uh, you're good to go. So can be done very easy guys. You may have one or two that don't make it in like that. Um, not the most difficult thing in the world, but that process will definitely speed you up. If your ammo comes loaded in the box like that, rather than in those staging trays, I really hope this helped you out guys. I really do think these loaders are both good. Um, I have not used the rifle loader as much as the pistol, the pistol, uh, loader, absolutely outstanding. The rifle one is good. Just depends on how you get your ammo or if you got the balance enough with your hands to go ahead and load them. Like I just showed. So go ahead, get back up in the chair, guys, and we will finish this up. I am telling you, for the price you pay for one of these things and the time you save on it, it's awesome. I can literally come into my office, um, I can load up my mags the day before the range and have 20 mags loaded by the time I'm about two beers deep usually. So definitely worth the uh, purchase for me on both of them. Little bit more difficult on the rifle, just depends on how you buy your rounds and how they come may or may not be a time saver for you, but the pistol is 100%, probably the best loader I have ever seen or used. I've seen a bunch of them, I've tried a bunch of them since, you know, over the years, 
And I just never had that great of an experience or that much of a time savings, especially when it came for the cost of some of them, because some of them back in the day were quite expensive. So if you guys are interested in this stuff, I will leave links down below for you guys. You know, check that first link in the description if you're on YouTube, because YouTube hates two-way links, guys. There's nothing I can do about it. That first link will take you to a page where everything is listed. I really appreciate your guys' time, and I really hope you guys learned something here today. And if you guys like seeing these videos and learning this stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you like the content here, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the content, you're still here, you might as well go ahead, grab something, throw it at the thumbs down button in an even number of times. So get out there on the range, guys, have some fun. Take a look at these things. I think you'd be kind of happy with them, and I will see you guys on the next one.